I have been playing around with three different brow gels and I finally come to the conclusion of which one I think is the best. Probably not going to be a shocker. I do want to point out I have done some brow routine videos. I will link those below. I do not rely on brow gel solely to fill in my brows. I always use a pencil first and then I go in with the brow gel. If I'm being really lazy, I wouldn't say lazy, but if I'm in a hurry, I will use just one of these products. Um, as far as brow pencils go, I am flip-flopping between the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I've been using forever, um, and then I just recently started using the Clinique Super Fine Liner for brows. I think it's blonde or light or whatever, and I really like that one, but I haven't been using it really long enough yet to do a full-on review of that one, so we'll save that for another video. But today, let's talk about these three. It's the Benefit Gimme Brow, the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper, and the Maybelline Brow Drama. And don't worry, I will have close-ups of all of these so you can um, see them all in action, so to speak. So the first one I want to talk about is the Benefit Gimme Brow. It retails for $24, so it is the most expensive out of the three I'm going to talk about, and it is also the smallest at only 0.1 fluid ounces. It comes in two shades, light to medium, and the other shade is medium to deep. Benefit in its description and in my personal usage, I can attest that it does have tiny little fibers in it. So not only is it going to impart a bit of pigment to your brows, but it will also build them up and make them look fuller and thicker if that's your object. What I like about it is that it does seem to, it says it's water resistant. I wouldn't know about that. I haven't tried going swimming in it. It does last all day. I don't find at the end of the day that my eyebrows have faded. Um, when it does, it dries rather quickly and when it does dry, your, my brows are soft to the touch. I don't feel like any hardening or any gel-like texture to them. Let me talk about the brush a little bit. The brush is uh, very interesting. I feel like when you pull it out, it does um, have quite a bit of product on there. So I will tend to wipe it off a little bit on the edge of the container. It is the tiniest of wands. It's almost like a teeny tiny little cone. And uh, it very much reminds me of the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara in size and in function. I find of the three um, brow products I'm reviewing today that it is the easiest of the brushes to use. It is great for the inner to mid size. I don't think there's any brush on the market that's tiny enough to really do a great job on the tail end of um, your brows. Everybody's brows thin out to some point down there and if you're not very precise with it, you will smudge a little bit on your skin, but hey, that's what little Q-tips are for. Um, I have used this particular uh, product many times. This is, I think, my second or third tube. So even though it's tiny, it does last quite a long time, and I'm very pleased with it. I will say that when I'm in a hurry and I don't want to mess with filling in my brows, this is the one I reach for because I feel like it has the most pigment and um, it's the fastest and easiest to use when you're in a hurry. Now let's get to the next product. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. This one is $8.99 for 0.27 fluid ounces, so quite a bit less than the Benefit and quite a bit more for your money. This comes in three shades, which I found to be interesting. Light to medium, which is the one I have, medium to dark, and then transparent, which I have not tried, but I am definitely interested in that one. Um, the L'Oreal website says that it's waterproof and it dries to a matte finish. Um, like I said, I've not really tested the waterproof validity statement. I'm not showering or swimming in my makeup. Um, this one also has fibers in it and it does have a small-ish wand. The pigmentation is, sorry, I'm playing with it here. The pigmentation is much different from the Benefit one. It is a much warmer tone. So um, as far as brows go, I like, I prefer a cool tone shade in both my pencil and my brow gel if I'm using brow, tinted brow gel. So it's much uh, warmer for blondes. I don't know how it works out for the other shades. It is pigmented though, which I'm very pleased with. It, it does leave a nice pigmentation. And the wand is definitely on the smaller side but it is bigger than the Benefit one, and it is definitely, you know, big when it comes to, if your lashes aren't really big and thick, it's going to be tricky to get in there. I will say that this one dries a little bit more hard to the touch than the Benefit one, but I wouldn't say that you're going to be able to, you know, knock on your eyebrows and um, 
and feel like a hardness to it. And then the last product that I want to talk about is the Maybelline Brow, Dra <laughs> Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. And it is similar in price to and size to the L'Oreal one. This one retails for about $7.99 and it is 0.23 fluid ounces, so roughly the same size and a little bit less expensive. It also comes in three shades, blonde, soft brown, and deep brown. This one does not have any fibers in it. The wand is shaped very differently from the other ones. It is a kind of a ball at the end, almost like the Givenchy mascara ball, and then it's followed by some um, like more traditional, smaller mascara uh, bristles behind it, although I will say the design, um, I like the concept of the ball. It works fairly well on my the thickest part of my brows, but after that part, it's much too large for the rest of my um, eyebrows. And as far as pigmentation goes, very, very little. Um, when I swatched on the back of my hand, it, it comes up much better than it does in real life. If you were using this, frankly, I would just get a clear brow gel. I don't, I, I wouldn't spend the money on it. I would just go get the CoverGirl clear brow gel for $3.99 and call it a day. I don't really feel like um, it's worth even $8 if, I don't understand what you're using it for. If you're using it to build up your brows, it's not the right product because there are no fibers in it. If you're using it to hold your brows in place, the brow shape is very, the wand shape is very difficult to use on your brows. And I feel like it dries a little bit hard. Um, clearly this is my least favorite of the three. I wouldn't even want to recommend it knowing that there are other options out there. So there you have the three of them. I know there are quite a few other ones on the market. I know Hard Candy makes one as well. I haven't had a chance to review that one or give it a try. Obviously, I think you can tell if you're gonna spend the money, I'd go with the Benefit one for blondes, um, just based on the tone of that the Maybelline one here is much more warm and brassy as compared to the Benefit one. If, I feel like it's just the, the wand shape alone is worth the extra money and I feel like the product lasts for such a long time you are definitely get your money's worth out of it. If you're less concerned about that, um, the L'Oreal is definitely my pick over the Maybelline one. If you're a brunette, um, I think that it's an excellent option and I also think I'm kind of curious to try the transparent version of the L'Oreal one. Um, I like adding a little extra color to my brows but I think if if that's not an issue for you and you just kind of want to thicken them up a little bit, I'm kind of curious to see how a transparent brow gel works that actually has fibers in it. So I want to give that one a go. Let me know if you've used any of these and what you think, you know, you love or which brand that you are more draw drawn to purchasing. I'm always curious if there's, you know, what your experiences have been as compared to mine. And I'd love to know if there's a product that I haven't mentioned that you really think that I need to go and check out. So as always, Leave your comments, your questions below. I will answer them as best I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Maybe this side's better. Okay. Three, two, do I have lipstick on my teeth? Okay. So the first one that I want to talk about is the Benefit Gimme Brow. It is God, why is this so hard? Now for your drugstore options. The next one I want to talk about is the L'Oreal. No. You know, let's scrap this whole thing. Hey everyone, I have been collecting some just completely random products over the last couple of months, and I don't think any of them specifically deserve their own video focusing on them. 